Hey guys, it's Ashley with 3R Sales and Service. Today we're taking a look at a 7x16 tandem axle enclosed trailer. This has a hot water pressure washer, it's 8 gallon per minute, and a gas engine soft wash system that's 11 gallon per minute. So uh, this particular trailer is available for sale on our showroom floor. So uh, the nice thing we like to do, we, like, we have a whole uh, trailer showroom. So if anybody who hasn't been here before or seen our website, uh, we, we keep a lot of these trailers available uh, so that you can either look at it or buy it that day and take it home. Um, so this year we just had a little bit of trouble because we would either not have enough of a particular pressure washer or soft wash system available to keep it um, stocked on the showroom floor. So now we're getting a little bit of that stuff in. We can, we can get it stocked back up on the showroom floor. We love when people come in from out of state or a few hours away to come in, get a look at what they want, either customize it from there or like I said, just take it home that day. So. Um, if you move in a little bit closer though, we'll go over this particular one. Now the trailer itself um, is a, I said it's a 7x16, it is tandem axle. You can see how some of the rivets here are about three feet apart. Um, so it's a little bit nicer. We've had some where the rivets are every 12 inches and it looks kind of, just doesn't look as nice. It's a little harder to wrap. So these ones um, are about three feet apart. We do have a lot of aluminum trim on this one as well. So um, we've got the fenders, we've got the door, um, and then trim pieces down here and then along the bottom as well. Um, just makes it look nicer. It keeps it a little bit more corrosion resistant. And then the height of it, it's a seven foot interior. So that's super nice, especially if you have any particular uh, guys on your, on your team that are a little bit taller and they're always bumping their head going in and out of the back of the trailer or in the front of the trailer. Um, so it just feels more spacious. You have more wall space for accessories if you need it. Uh, so we really like using this particular uh, trailer style. But a little closer here, we got our, our first two hose reels. The top one is our pressure washer reel and the bottom one is our garden hose reel. These are the 12 inch Titan hose reels. These are 12 volt powered, so they have the electric rewind. You just hit this button right here and it rolls your hose up for you, making it a lot easier and a lot faster to clean up after the job's done. We have 200 feet of the pressure washer hose, 100 foot of the three quarter inch garden hose, and then we've got our little connectors here to keep it in place and make it looking nice. The pressure washer that we're using, I'll let you kind of sneak in there, is a 3500 PSI at eight gallon a minute Hydrotech pressure washer. It's the SS series with the Honda GX690 engine. And we've got the big T series pump on there that pushes eight gallon a minute. On the pump, we put a bleeder valve so that it's easy to prime that pressure washer and bleed all the air out of the line from the water tank. So which is particularly nice if you're just starting up your system um, or if you ran out of water and you got to get that air out of the line between the tank and the washer. The, uh, the pressure washer also has eight gallon fuel tanks for the gas and for the diesel. It's got temperature control, an hour meter, so it's easier to keep track of your maintenance. Um, and then we've got the, uh, the steam nozzle on there. You can cut back your water flow, increase your, uh, your heat rating on that unit. Um, so just a lot of nice features. And of course, the, the biggest thing is it's all stainless steel. So it's corrosion resistant. Um, it is a narrow frame. It weighs less than some of those eight gallons that have the big generator on it. That helps us keep the weight down in the trailer. It is vented through the roof uh, just to keep all the exhaust, any soot or whatnot, um, out of the inside of your trailer and keep that air that's in your trailer nice and clean for your burner system, for your engine, uh, so that it doesn't cause any issues down the road. The engine exhaust is exhausted through the floor, so all of that goes out uh, as well. Moving around back, we'll take a look from the, uh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm getting the notification that I forgot to say something. We've also got a two inch tank drain here. It blends right in with the uh, wall of the trailer, so I tend to miss it every now and again. Uh, the valve to drain your tank is just on the inside of this door. So twist that valve, it'll drain out that 325 gallon tank that we have in there within just a few minutes. It's very quick, so nice and easy to use. We keep it on the outside so you can wash your hands, fill a bucket, whatever you need to do. Um, now we'll move around back. We like to use the double doors on these trailers. It's easier to access your equipment and then it doesn't take up as much space if you're parking curbside. Um, you know, you're not gonna lay your door down in front of somebody's driveway. So, saves you some space there. Our gas engine soft wash system features a Honda engine and the Comet P40 pump. We have the 18 inch Titan electric reel up top. So again, push that button, it rewinds all 300 feet of hose that we have up here. Um, and then we've got the connectors to hold that in place as well. 
I'm gonna jump in the trailer and have you follow me in so we can take a look at the proportioner system. The proportioner is connected to your stopwash system. And then this up here is a downstream manifold that we use for the pressure washer. So we'll talk about the soft wash system first. So these three valves will pull water, surfactant, and bleach through your soft wash system. And then this valve down here is what rinses your bleach line. So you can move these valves in any direction to, uh, to meter however you want your solution to be pulled through. And then whenever you're done with your job, you will open up this rinse valve and, and, uh, and open up your water valve all the way to rinse out your, uh, your soft wash system. So not only to clean that valve, but to clean out your pump, your hose, your wand, everything that goes along with it. The tanks, the tanks that these are connected to, we have a 55 gallon SH or bleach tank. We have a seven gallon surfactant tank, which we call soap one. Um, over here, we've got two other tanks as well. I'll get to those in a second. Um, but this is basically, like I said, water tank. So your 325 gallon water tank, your seven gallon surfactant tank, and then your 55 gallon bleach tank is what this pulls from. Now for the chemical manifold, this is for your downstream soap injector that's on your pressure washer. The injector is technically on your hose reel, but it pulls with your pressure washer when you're using it. So we've got four soaps that you can pull from. We have your bleach line, your surfactant line. We have what we call soap number two tank, which is on the other side of the trailer here. And soap number three actually just goes to an open line with a filter on it so that you can drop it down into a bucket of any random soap that you need to use, something that you don't want to put 20 gallons of in there or you, know, you can't use your uh, bleach through um, so that you can pull anything random through that. It's controlled with these little valves. You can open it up all the way if you're only using bleach or if you want to mix bleach with surfactant you just crack this open a little bit to however much you need and then close them all back up and just use whatever you want to use through there so it's makes it much easier to pull different types of chemicals or soaps through your pressure washer system all right so i'll keep moving around here's a better view of our 325 gallon water tank uh, now with the water tank we have a filter right on top there and what that is is that's your incoming filter line. So you're connecting a hose from the customer spigot. It goes through the incoming hose reel and it makes its way up into that filter. So you actually have a filter before it even gets into your tank to keep a lot of debris out of your tank. Once it comes out of your tank, there's a filter that goes to your um, soft wash system, like to the manifold on that soft wash system. And then another one that goes to your pressure washer. So there's technically three filters on this to keep everything as clean as possible. Um, on the other side here, we've got our antifreeze tank. Uh, so this makes this much easier to winterize. If you are anywhere in the northern United States um, and you need to be able to do it kind of at the drop of a dime or even just at the end of the season, if you're only doing it once a year, it makes it so much easier just by flipping a couple ball valves to winterize your pressure washer, to winterize your soft wash system without having to fill your 325 gallon tank high enough uh, so that it will draw through those systems. So we make it a lot easier by using that separate tank. If you are um, south and you don't use a winterizing system or have no need for one, you can just use it as an additional soap tank. So um, we have our 20 gallon soap number two tank. Uh, so like I said, there was SH and then soap one, two, and three on that manifold. So that's your soap number two tank. We've got our uh, eight drawer, I believe, toolbox just keep all your accessories in check, keep them all organized so you know where to find things. And then this little guy right here, this is our soap number three. That is that random, whenever you need it, kind of a system where you just drop it down into that bucket of solution that you just need for a specialty type of job. And then whenever you take that out, <clears throat> excuse me, instead of letting it drip all over uh, the floor of your trailer, you just drop that right back in and it keeps the solution from dripping out. So we try to make it as easy as possible. The uh, other thing you'll notice with the trailer um, is the flooring. We have that protective flooring down there. It's a little, it's skid resistant. It's got that diamond plate tread on it. So you're not gonna slip on any uh, soaps if you spill anything on the ground in here, uh, but it protects sodium hypochlorite or bleach in, for the most part from eating away the floor of your trailer because it, it will. It, when, no matter what material is made of, it'll eventually make its way through. So that flooring helps protect it 
<clears throat> for a significant amount of time. Uh, we've also got paint on the trailer that helps, you know, just protect the walls from moisture. Uh, these things also make the trailer look much nicer. So the, uh, the gray tone seems to be our favorite one, not only because if you mark it up, it's not as noticeable, but it's just a nice color overall. We have an aluminum telescopic wand. We've got the wand that goes with the pressure washer. And then we've got two aluminum extensions that you can use with your pressure washer system as well. So we made the hooks uh, ourselves just to keep everything uh, nice and tidy. We've made the bands that go around the tanks um, to keep everything, like I said, as tidy as possible, make it looking as professional as possible. And, uh, and you know, <laughs> sorry, I'm getting another signal that I missed something. <laughs> Um, so what I did miss was the hooks that are down here. I'm going to scooch off to the side so you can see it better. These hooks down here are how we secure our surface cleaner. So this surface cleaner will actually, or you can fit up to a 30 inch surface cleaner in this space here. Um, and then just be able to kind of lift it and angle it out, uh, from the rear. But we use the, uh, what are you trying to tell me? We'll buy that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So we usually use the Mossmatic surface cleaners in this application or the BE surface cleaners, but anyone can fit right here in order to hold it. We've got this panel right here to protect it from running over the hoses that we have that run in front of that tank. Um, what Abby was telling me that I missed again is the cool bypass line. So on your pressure washer, if you're not familiar with how the cool bypass works is um, whenever you're running your pressure washer and then you let go of the trigger, it automatically circulates that water at the pump. So what we do is we hook it up to the water tank and it'll circulate all that fresh water that you have in your water tank, keeping your pump nice and cool and protected uh, from overheating it. So I believe I have hit all the spots, but if I missed something, it will be in the description on our website. Our website is 3rpressurewashers.com and you can go into the ready-made trailer units section. It'll have all the information. If you're on YouTube and you go into the description, that link will be available in there as well uh, for you to click on. And if you have any questions beyond that, feel free to stop in to our, uh, into our shop or give us a call. Thanks.